Hey, what's up everybody? Devin here with Backcountry Exposure. In my hand, I have the Peregrine Refuge 2 hammock, which is a fairly new offering from them. But Peregrine is a company that I'm not super familiar with and getting one of these products from them was something I was really excited about. So I've got their strap system and the hammock that we're gonna set up and do a quick review on today. Guys, I am here in one of my favorite settings in the entire world. I've been able to spend a few days out at the Grays River here in Wyoming, outside of Star Valley, Wyoming, and I couldn't think of a better place to set up the hammock than with the Grays River in the background. But now that we've got the hammock set up, let's talk about the things that uh, I like about it and the things that I don't like about it. Um, I say that in a lot of my reviews and typically a lot of the things that I get into, um, they reflect on the things that I really like. I don't like to be a negative person, but there are some things about this hammock that I don't love uh, in regards to uh, some of the other uh, products that are out there available on the market, but we'll make some comparisons as well and uh, talk about the things that I really do like about this hammock. Let's talk about the first thing that I like about it. So this is the Refuge 2, meaning it is a two-person hammock or a double in the sense that you've got an extra wide hammock. This thing is incredibly wide and it's kind of like a big bathtub style gathered end hammock. So a little bit different than my Wildhorn Outfitters hammock, which you should have seen some videos on if you haven't already, but it's not, it's not quite as long as that. I think it's more in the nine foot, 10 foot range, but you've got a good, nice, thick nylon material. This is different from what I have seen on like Eno or Eno hammocks, the Eagle Nest Outfitters, uh, like the Double Nest, if we're gonna compare uh, double size hammocks. This is a much thicker nylon. I don't necessarily know that this is going to hold up any better or if it's a better or worse fabric, but really thick. Uh, I know that obviously saying that it's going to add a little bit of weight to the hammock, so uh, that might be a consideration for when you're pricing something like this for, for backpacking. Really nice hammock uh, in the sense that the construction of it is done really well. Triple stitching on all of the seams and the color is fantastic also. I like what they've done with the bag here. It's got a roll top style bag which makes putting it uh, inside of itself really, really easy. And what they've done is they've sewn a little pocket right here so when you set up the hammock, uh, you're not necessarily using the, the bag, storage bag itself as a pocket, but you've got the sewn pocket here to put uh, phone or wallet or things that you would need to headlamp and such uh, in the hammock. Let's talk about some of the more nitty gritty things about the hammock. So it is a gathered end hammock. I'm gonna come around to this other side so I can talk about it here. This is one thing that I really like about what Peregrine has done. You've got a full strength Cypher carabiner. This is a 24 kilonewton. Uh, climbing grade, which Cypher is a climbing brand, full on, full strength carabiner for you to connect to. What I also really like that they've done here is they have taken a full a Dyneema piece of webbing and attached the carabiner to that through the gathered ends. So this is really strong and it's going to last a really long time. Whether or not this is better than like using Amsteel or other types of applications for a gathered end hammock like this. Can't really say, but this is something that makes me happy as a climber and somebody that knows uh, the quality of a, a Dyneema sling. This is really good to have and I know it's gonna perform well and last a long time. Let's talk about the strap system because this is my least favorite part of the hammock. In, in my experience and the things that I've noticed in, in other types of suspension systems or strap systems, this is as, as close to the Eno uh, Atlas straps where you have kind of a daisy chain style. I know that the Eno straps are kind of sewn like a traditional daisy chain. This is just looped ends that don't 
honestly give you a lot of options for hanging. As you saw as I was hanging this, because I'm at some trees that are a little bit closer, it did require me to girth hitch the sling around the tree more than one time. And I'm kind of, because of how limited the adjustability is on the hammock, I'm like as tight on this end as I possibly can. And then I'm on the lowest end or the lowest setting, if you want to say that, on this strap. So I was able to still get a nice, for this type of application, a nice setting of how the hammock is supposed to hang and it's starting to rain. But if I was to take this backpacking and use this as a camping hammock, I would be setting this up a little bit different and it might be a little more finicky because of how I would have my ridge line set up and it might be harder for me. I'd really have to find uh, trees that were further apart, which is not necessarily something that is impossible, but uh, in this setting, if these were the only two trees that I had, this would be uh, pretty hard for me to just quickly put together. So in, in my uh, opinion, I, I prefer a suspension system that uses either a whoopee sling type scenario or the cinch buckle, which I really like the cinch buckle that I have on my other two hammocks, which are the Wildhorn Outfitter hammocks. But overall, I'm really happy with the product. It's uh, really comfortable and we've had many people sleeping, uh, taking naps in this over the week out here with family. And overall, just a really high quality product. Uh, there was actually two of my sister-in-laws just swinging in this this morning, having a great time. And uh, it would be a great product to look at as an option for, for your backpacking. Or just camping applications if you want just a simple hammock to take with you into the backcountry. But car camping as well, that's another good application for it, which is what we're doing here. Overall though, just the thing is as a complete package, Really great product. Uh, I don't think you could go wrong spending the money on this. Uh, but do keep in mind that the straps are sold separately. Uh, at least that's my understanding. And if you want something with a little bit more adjustability that makes setting it up a little bit easier and faster, then these straps may not be the way to go. Uh, you could look at other strap systems that include a cinch buckle or the whoopee slings, um, something from hammock gear uh, that you could find uh, to set this up but there it is guys that is the refuge 2 hammock from peregrine peregrine is a brand that sells hammocks and tents and they make uh, really cool bags just nice products that uh, people may not be overly familiar with but something definitely worth looking into so thanks for watching guys please subscribe to the channel if you have not uh, the subscriptions mean a lot to me and i hope you have an awesome day in the mountains when it's raining like this. Love it.